exterior of this car is fucking filthy. This is almost as disgusting as Andrew Cuomo's I'm not a pervert, I'm just Italian comment. I'm Italian. I didn't know we could do that. <laughs> The used car market is going absolutely bananas these days. People are getting top dollar for their vehicles. Today we have the most disgusting car I've ever seen in my life, but that's okay. They're gonna give me lots of money to put it in excellent condition. Before we begin, we did it. We freed Brit. Hashtag way to go Brittany. The most important thing in any automotive detail is proper footwork. To the end feet, we are rocking the Air Jordan 1 Mid. This is the multiple color colorway. Quick little history lesson for you. In 1985, the Air Jordan 1 was originally released. This is my favorite sneaker of all time. This particular shoe was given to me by my favorite person ever. Nike is well aware of the popularity of the Jordan 1. Although they want to sell as many Jordan 1s as possible, they don't want to dilute the supply of Jordan 1 highs. So they created a low top, and in 2003 they created a mid top. These sneakers act as an injection into the shoe market so that the Nike brand can continue to sell Jordan 1s, but because these are technically different sneakers, the Jordan 1 high supply still remains low, which continues to make this a rare and coveted sneaker. <clears throat> the first step, make these wheels look brand new. After that, we are going to foam cannon this car. I got this new foam. It smells like honeydew. Can't wait. And then we're going to do that two bucket agitation wash. You know, an agitation similar to when your ex-girlfriend So let's crank that beat and get started. product review here. I am using the Chemical Brothers Honey Dew Foam and God damn, does it smell good. Don't know if it works well. <sighs> Smells good. Thumbs up. Now we're just gonna clay bar this car. Ooh, I'm a clay bar superstar. I'm a clay bar superstar. Clay bar in your car, it just gets all the final remnants off of the exterior paint. So dinosaur fossils and uh, pieces of hipster. <laughs> We have the exterior looking pretty dang slick. Now it is on to the main event, the interior. Wait. Man, it smells like. No. Wait a second. Can it be? Oh, I knew it. I knew it. It smells like hipster. No. We are going to mask up, glove up and clean up so this car doesn't smell like hipster. Oh, gross. My favorite tool when it comes to automotive detailing is this little detailing brush. It helps you get into all of the little nooks and crannies. And in this car, there are a lot of dirty nooks and crannies. Crannies? What the f is a cranny? Also, these little detailed brushes are great for fing with your bulldog. <laughs> So, for these operations guys, so we got a creative guy up 
why I noted it. He has a great after game plan, but it seems like he has a lot of success here, and it seems like maybe what Matt what they need is. Okay, this is the most disgusting car I've ever detailed. So we are bringing out the big guns. Oh, bringing out the big guns. I'm gonna clear ball this great call.